Welcome back to another episode of the Crypto Serpent. And if you do enjoy the videos, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. Well, 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 well. Interesting. 24 hours, right? How quickly can the, the landscape of the market change within 24 hours? And let's just, let's just say it how it is, right? How corrupt, how corrupt is this industry at the moment? And I'll tell you why it's corrupt. Because it can be. Because it can be. Because there's not that much regulatory clarity and rules and restrictions, the market can dip 20% in a day and it can pick up almost, not quite all of it, but gee, it's a pretty pretty big comeback within a day. A bit suspicious, right? But let's have a look at the bigger picture. So amongst, you know, obviously a, a broader market dip, these are the key levels to look out for. And please, guys, do not come at me calling a bear market because we are so far, so far from a bear market that it's not even funny. I've got some critical things to show you. I've got two particular charts that I'm going to show you, which are going to make this crystal clear to you where we are and we will talk about prices and we will talk about the key levels and we'll talk about the support levels you know how what happens if we hold 70 cents what happens if we hold where we are right now which at the time of making this right now we're sitting at 84 cents i'll tell you all that let's go through it first things first can coinbase make or break xrp this is, this is huge. This is massive. According to Coinbase's council, XRP has the highest, rate, highest rating among 28 cryptos, meaning it is the closest you can get to a security. Now, Coinbase leads crypto's winners group. So the committee will focus on the challenge and the benefits of financial innovation. And Coinbase plays a leading role. The cryptocurrency exchange has become the most relevant in the United States and it has already gone public. This is interesting. This is very interesting. This will take place on December 8. December 8 is going to be a massive day for crypto. Massive. Not just XRP. It's going to be huge. Now, Coinbase's council rated XRP as, as the closest you can get to a security. What is that going to do? How is this all going to play out? Now, JP Morgan is putting pressure on Coinbase for XRP. Now, we know that Coinbase recently had a, a running with the SEC, which they had to take a product off the shelf. So I think they're going to go more towards XRP. December 6 and December 8 are going to be massive. So get ready because next week, it's going to be a blockbuster week for the entire industry. Now, how do we know we're not in a bear market, Mr. Serpent? How? How, Mr. Serpent, do you come on here and talk about us not being in a bear market? Well, check out what El Salvador has done. El Salvador stacks 150 Bitcoin after BTC price crashes below 50,000. Coincidence? Do you think it's over? Even judging by today, you know, Terra broke its previous all-time high today. Do you really think we're in a bear market? Or we're about to enter a bear market? Absolutely not. But don't don't worry, because this isn't the news that's going to make you really, really happy. This is just a taste. Now, we know that Bitcoin records a massive 16% drop as 400 billion leave the crypto market in a day. 400 billion billion dollars monstrous right monstrous day anybody who was long was absolutely wiped out now in other news Solana library bug could have seen attackers stealing 27 million an hour this is always the challenge right with uh, with crypto with what you hold you know you gotta be careful right because at the end of the day if the, if the network goes down it could be huge, but we'll keep an eye out on that and, and what goes on. But I found it interesting, right? Stealing 27 million an hour. 
just because of one bug. Now, was the Bitcoin drop due to subtle market manipulation? Which is what I'm talking about. Yes, is the short answer. Some analysts have indicated that the drop in price of BTC on Saturday, December 4th, 2021 was contributed to in, in part by the stop losses being triggered from leveraged positions, resulting in massive liquidation. The stop losses may have been the result of whale market manipulation, including stop hunting manipulation. So stop losses being hunted and manipulated. Leverage trading is when a cryptocurrency exchange loans funds to a trader to create long or short positions. A trader can invest 50 in BTC and borrow up to 450 from an exchange for trading. And that is exactly what happened. So how, what is market manipulation? It involves activities that contrive an asset's price and give a false picture of market behavior. Market manipulation can take on many forms. But in this case, the whales synchronized and dumped on everyone and hit everyone's stop losses. The best way to not be hit by these things is to not have a stop loss. But then by not having a stop loss, you also run the greater risk of going to zero should something happen, you know, like a blockchain hack or whatever. So what happened yesterday is pure manipulation at its finest. We heard that XRP can now be used to pay online um, at Croatia's largest supermarket chain. And this is just a taste of what's to come in 2022. Now, Judge Netburn orders the parties to file supplemental briefing on deliberative process privilege in light on recent circuit case. So this is going to, again, this is massive. December 8th, let's see how, how we go. But like I said, this is a blockbuster week coming up. Now, this is what I want you to see. So before the bull run, this is what occurred in 2017. Does it look familiar to Saturday? Well, let's take a look. It's exactly the same. Now look what happened literally days after that's what happened. This was the final shakeout before this entire market goes absolutely ballistic. That's why I was jumping up and down with excitement yesterday because the whales have cashed in on the manipulation and they're now ready to send this entire industry into outer space. I don't know about you, but that, that right there excites me a lot, a lot. So what, what's coming? Well, double digits, my friends. And it's not financial advice, I'm not a financial advisor, but we are setting sail towards double digits for XRP. Now, it's the same pattern. It's identical to 2017 as main, mentioned by Ape Season. Look at this. Oh, come on. <laughs> One second. Look at that. Look at the similarities. Look at the, like, it's, of course it's not copy paste, but they are the same pattern. It is going to be phenomenal. Absolutely phenomenal what is to come and how big. I hope you're ready. I really, 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 really hope you're ready. But let's jump into a tiny. Let's have a look at some indicators. Now, as we begin to look at the indicators, we're looking at the, at the moment on the daily chart. So on the daily, we're just about to come back into inside the Bollinger Band. The RSI is still sitting into the oversold. Now, when you look at the hourly, you can see that the hourly, we spiked up, but now it's sort of sitting pretty pretty flat. And I, I imagine being a Saturday, Monday, it probably will sit, sit like that, but who knows, right? Who knows? At this stage, anything is possible. From a four, uh, four hour point of view, MACD is about to go back into bullish. The RSI was so into the oversold, it has just now come back, just, just now come back into sort of normal levels. 
The 12 hour has come back into the Bollinger Band. Still very, very much um, bearish. The RSI has just come back in. But when you look at the daily, we are far, far away still from, from a turning bullish. But on the RSI for the daily, we are still into the oversold area. And that's at 84, 8.56% up for the day. So, I mean, positive, but we're not out of this yet. Not out of this yet, because we could still see another drop and then we go off. Or we just continue to go from here. But for at the moment, from an indicator point of view, it's not strong enough, 8% rise, to say that we're absolutely out of the clear just yet. Because we've seen this before. And last time we saw this, it definitely, you know, hit and it hit hard. So let's have a look at some drawings. I've mentioned the similarities between, you know, the drop that we had yesterday and the drop that happened in 2017 before we spiked and went, you know, to achieve breaking all-time highs. And I think that, that is like a huge, huge indicator about what is to come. Now, on a weekly perspective, you know, when you look at this and you look, okay, how do we go towards breaking the previous um, all-time high? You know, this, like this type of movement is really what we need. But really the, what's coming now, like what is about to arrive when I look at the charts, it's, it's phenomenal. It is phenomenal what we're about to begin. Because 12 to 14, like, I wouldn't say guaranteed because nothing is guaranteed in life except taxes and, and death. Um, but that prediction about going to double digits uh, and, and, you know, and achieving that sooner than a lot of people realize, I think it's going to come true quicker than anybody can anticipate. And, and looking at volume looking at trends, uh, looking at resistance zones, uh, we are set for a real, real blockbuster. But of course, step number one, break previous all-time high, go towards $4.50 to five, depending on the FOMO, retrace, and then we start to head towards that double digit journey. And, and, and a journey will be, as you know, it's been a bumpy ride 2021. And I think this week, this week coming is going to be a blockbuster week. If you learned something new today, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. As always, thank you and look forward to see you on the next one.